Stephen K. Came from Deseranto, which if you don't know where, where that is, it's near Belleville. Oh, so, that's just not a weird way to say Toronto. No, I know it sounds like it. Eh? It's like it's like a less, maybe more desert-like Toronto. I don't know. But his list looks pretty interesting. He's got um, the IG88 with Focus on the Kill, and everyone knows. Well, I kind of nicknamed it myself. Uh, he's Robot Luke because he's damn hard to kill before he does a lot of damage. Uh, he's got the Weak Way Pirates. I believe those are elite. They are elite, and they're actually probably my favorite figures in the game, just because as people who play the game will know, for their cost, they can do a lot of damage. Uh, they actually also have six hit points, so you can't just, it's not easy necessarily to one-shot them. They also have the Hunter Smuggler uh, title uh, or, or class, which means they can use some of those Hunter Smuggler cards, which is insane in the game right now. Um, oh, it looks like you have a fan in the chat. Oh, it's Kenny. Hey, Kenny. Glad to have you aboard. Too bad you couldn't make it, buddy. Uh, so, anyways, we... Um, that, those are my favorite figures just because they're really hard to hit, but they also hit hard, and they also allow a re-roll of one die. So that could be while they're attacking or while they're, sorry, one die on defense or offense while they're attacking. So he could re-roll uh, one of his attack die, or he can make you re-roll one of your defense die. So it's great if you're going against, uh, you know, characters that roll a white die because you can, they can roll a dodge and you make them re-roll and you're, maybe the chances are you're not going to get another dodge. And uh, yeah, so it's unfortunate because sometimes I've played where I've made them re-roll and they just re-roll a dodge and you're just like, oh. It's a really good paint job on those figures too. I mean, I, it's funny you say that. I went nice and close and took, up, took some pictures. Uh, yeah. Steve has some awesome paint jobs. Uh, it's ridiculous. I've seen some of his work on Facebook as well. Uh, even his IG88, he's got him like a reddish color. Yeah. Which I've never seen anyone else do. Everyone usually sticks to like the silver, which is you know the usual. But I love when people do stuff that's like things that are a little bit different. Well, it makes it easier for us to follow too. Yeah, I know. Especially if it's a mirror match. You're absolutely right. We got to keep him on stream all day now, man. <laughs> and then I know Nader's got um, some beautifully painted Imperial figures, but I have to give credit because I know. Color coded too. Yeah, I appreciate that. And I have to I give credit the words due, and those are Ivan's figures that he's borrowing. So because uh, Ivan does some really ridiculous. Paint, paint job so I'll have to get Ivan on we'll get him on a stream game later so we can see some of his other work too um, moving on with the list I guess too um, uh, Stephen also has Vinto who's also another five point awesome figure pretty much an auto include in a scum list uh, he's got Hera Sindela and Gideon Argus because he's using the Temporary Alliance. Those are two rebels. Mm -hmm. uh, those Gideon's a great support character. He's got a Jawa Scavenger Elite, which allows him to now take two uh, droids out of factions. So he took nice. Chopper and he took C-3PO. So everybody who plays the game obviously knows C-3PO gives you a focus. He helps you a little bit on defense. Otherwise, he does nothing else, pretty much. Um, Chopper, on the other hand, if somebody is standing by a terminal, uh, an opposing figure, he can actually choose to have that figure take two damage and a strain, which is really annoying because you want to get to terminals so you can get command cards, right? Right. Uh, going through Natter's list really quickly, uh, let's see, grab it here. He's got BT-1, which is from one of the new expansions of just a deadly droid, uh, pretty cheap for six points. He's got two sets of heavy stormtroopers, and Natter's well known for his heavy stormtroopers. He loves heavy stormtroopers. I personally tried them out, and I just couldn't make them work well. But he's he's like a surgeon with them. So those jetpack stormtroopers, though, those are those are pretty popular. Those right? are and, uh, yeah. And he's got two sets in there. He's got two jet troopers elite, and they're very popular because it's really mobile. I'm they're guessing. very mobile. They're mobile, so they can go over all the red, you know, the terrain, the right. difficult terrain, but also. Um, when they attack at, um, within two spaces away, he can add in an extra blue die, and after the attack resolves, he can move two spaces. So they're really pretty deadly. They're nest they're relatively hard to kill because there's seven hit points. Uh, look, like he's giving us the finger there. <laughs> Uh, he also has two officers, and he's going to obviously use those. Whenever you use a storm a heavy stormtrooper list, you pretty much need officers because the heavy stormtroopers only move three. Right, um, and they give you that those extra two move points. Right? That's right. Uh, uh, target and computer. Yeah. That's to be, real, be able to reroll on BT one and the heavy stormtroopers. He's got them on all of them, and Zillow technique, which is the most annoying card in the game if you're playing against Imperial. Because we'll we'll see more later. But just it looks like right now what he did the first move, he moved BT one. Uh, probably with his officer, I'm thinking, and I believe uh, his officer looks like he focused up 
some uh, stormtroopers. So he must have had an um, inspiring speech, is my guess. Uh, does I miss? Yeah, I think he must have played inspiring speech. Yes, he did. So he's focused up two stormtroopers and allowed BT-1 to move two. So that's a nice card just to say, Vic, uh, to pull that out at the beginning of the game is huge because you already have all your guys together. You have your officer who's able to use that card. And when you draw that right off the bat, you're just like, man, this is great. I can have two of my guys focused. And now when they attack for the next uh, turn, they're going to have um, a great opportunity to do some damage. We're looking at two stations. So I can tell you what the focus of this objective is. And that is, you see the white um, neutral tokens on there. Basically, if you control a white neutral token, you're going to get four points, I think, at the end of the round. Or is it three? Four points? I believe it's four. Four points at the end of the round. And then you're so also going to... Three victory points. Three victory points, sorry, at the end of the round. And then you're going to be able to choose uh, one figure in line of sight of one of those terminals. And you could... Uh, obviously an opposing figure. And you can give that figure two damage. So... It's advantageous. I can tell you honestly, the strategy I use in this is I absolutely go for these terminal, uh, these um, objective tokens. I'll tell you right now, you end up paying the price if you don't go for them. So it kind of sucks in a way because you got to kind of throw a guy out there and have him getting risk at risk of getting killed early. But if you don't contest them early, it's just the guy gets to a jump, a big jump, and he's also potentially doing damage on you. Um, but it looks like what they did here, Natter looked like he's, he's sort of going over to the right side terminal. Um, and then... Well, ju well, Steven just beat him to and it. And Steven just beat him to yeah. it. So this is going to be interesting because I like that when the game goes this way because it means there's going to be some battling going on on both sides of the map. Because I'll tell you, I'm not fooled. I know they're both thinking. They want to open that door in the middle <laughs> and they want to run to the other two terminals and yeah. park somebody out of sight. Because then you can sit that guy there, and then you're not worried about getting shot at, and they're hoping you're getting points, and maybe doing some damage to somebody. So right now, they're contested. So right. at the end of the round, nobody would get any points for that terminal. No one would be able to use it to hit anybody. But uh, Nodder's bringing all his stormtroopers over there. And yeah, and I'm like kind of somewhat surprised. Maybe, because, <laughs> maybe it's just a delay tactic by Steven there, just to make yeah. sure he doesn't get that terminal for that one turn. I would agree, and I think that Steven's probably thinking, you know what, it's just a Jawa. He's, he's only a couple points. Uh, he's only three points, so no big deal. Hopefully he doesn't die, but if he does die, he probably did his job by holding off that terminal for at least one round. So I kind of like what he did here. I also like that he put Chopper at the right other terminal. The terminal yep. there, yeah. So I, now he's going to be able to shock. Enough damage to kill him. Not, you just killed him? Yep. Okay, so let's see what happened there. Is that an elite jet trooper? He moved within two spaces, so now he can roll that extra blue die, yep. and he can move away too. So he used that advantage, and the Jawa basically didn't have much of a chance there. <laughs> did they roll into here? Should I tell they them? They did. They did. Awesome. Okay. So Chopper is going to be annoying here because you see how he has, you see how Nader has his officer on the terminal on the bottom right. Yeah. Well, Chopper is next round is going to basically shock him and give him the two damage plus a strain. And that would make him have to choose to either kill the officer or take a strain. Well, this is a good setup for him, too, because he's hidden in that corner there. Yeah. Uh, Nodder's going to have to send some of his troopers around. Yeah. Looks like uh, Steven's setting up maybe some Overwatch positions to cover when, yeah. for when Nodder peeks around that corner there. Yeah, I think you're right. And I think Steven, yeah. you know, I, he probably didn't expect the Jawa to die. Um, it's happened to me actually a bunch of times. I throw the Jawa in there to, just to, to contest. Right. And then they kill him and you go, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. But he might have done his job because he's now, like, there's no one contesting that terminal right now. There's no one, there's no one, uh, he doesn't have ownership of that terminal. But I do, it is interesting what you said about Nader pushing all the troopers to that one side. In this map, that's interesting because I always feel like a lot of the action goes on the other side where the two... Uh, Between the two doors there? Yeah, and you yeah. see how Steven's on that line of thinking. He Right now he's got Hera right at the door. C-3PO right behind to support for defense. And if that door opens up, oh, sorry, he's opened that door, but if the second door yeah. opens up, he's going to be able to walk in IG and do some heavy damage. Well, meanwhile, it looks like Steven's going to have the uh, the advantage here with the uh, the two objective tokens in the bottom. Yeah. If he can rush some of his weak, weak weight pirates, is it? Yeah, you're Down absolutely right. Wow. No, you, you're bang on there, Vic. He, he's, because his door is open yeah. and, and uh, Nodder's is not, 
he's got a great chance to get those weak way pirates into position. Let's see, one, two, three. Yeah, he can get the one there. Uh, I wonder if the other one can reach. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It'll be, I don't know if the other one will reach, but definitely one can get to the terminal. Uh, so I think he's looking like he's in good shape, even though he's down three nothing early here. Now the odd, the odd thing about the setup of these two objective tokens near the bottom of the screen here. Uh, it's a line of sight That's where right. you deal the two damage, That's right? Correct. So yeah. now, is it is it uh, mandatory? Like, if you're controlling both of these stations, you have to deal damage. No, to? I believe it's may may deal damage. So and it's only uh, opposing figure. So I know it's funny you point that out because I always think about that. I always think, really, you're only doing damage with those if someone's in there trying to contest, right? Right. So it's kind of funny to think they never usually do damage. It's usually the one at the top of the screen that does the damage. So it is funny that you point that out because it's going to be hard to get line of sight on anybody. If you already control that, how is the other guy going to be in line of sight and contesting you, right? So so maybe what Nodder wants to do is set up a fire lane uh, maybe right yeah. next to the top uh, objective token. Yeah. Anyone that tries to go in, tries to take those two stations, he can just blow them out before... You might be right. In fact, to. he might even be thinking... Um, coming down the middle, uh, yeah. like go around the top to the middle, yeah. and then just say, fine, go for those. Uh, it's interesting that Steven did, he hid his weak way pirate who's already focused, yeah. so I didn't catch that from earlier, that's probably from uh, Gideon, I'm assuming. So the weak way pirates have a cool uh, function for people that don't know for the elites, which is another reason why they're great, it's called Prowl. And so for one action, you can uh, hide yourself. So he basically, what he did was he hit himself and he moved four. Right. And that was the end of his, his activation. You can see that focus tokens hindered underneath that high, that high token. So that's probably from Gideon. But that's a cool move because now it makes this weak way pirate really deadly on offense and defense. Because the defense, the high token, will make the opponent have to get an extra two accuracy. Yeah. It, at the same time, it gives you an extra surge. Now, a weekly pirate surge, one of them is plus two damage. So that's, it's like he's going to be doing an automatic two, or an extra two damage. So I, I kind of like the move he did here. He, he didn't do what I normally do, which is the greedy move, which is run in and just get those terminals. And he's probably thinking he doesn't need to because Nader's not necessarily uh, challenging right now. I see Nader moved up his uh, elite. Oh, he's thinking about it here. He said, I played against Nodder a bunch of times, and yeah. man, he's really good with these heavies, and it's almost annoying because I can't use them well. <laughs> so so what is Nodder doing here? Is he is he waiting for the door to open, and then he's just going to create a no, sorry, sorry, no movement zone? I think, uh, I think, uh, there? yeah, I think he's, pretty, you're right on the fact that he wants that door to get open. And maybe he's thinking, as soon as that door opens, he's going to have this focused, um, um, heavy stormtrooper who has targeting computers so he gets right. to re-roll dice right he's thinking hey he's, he can do a lot of damage to somebody like the good thing about the heavies is they do well they do damage quite well but you need that uh, targeting computer to re-roll that attack die right uh, looks like he's playing urgency to move BT an extra two nice just, and get just to get that, that terminal, terminal. yeah and then now he's thinking, well, I've got line of sight on IG, so nice. that's a cool move. I liked what he did there. He used urgency to move up two and then moved uh, BT the extra distance. Now this uh, this damage that terminals do, is that blockable by any sort of block? Not device? at all. In fact, all he has to do is have line of sight. And he's, oh, he's going to attack you with BT, right. And all he has to do is have line of sight. So, oh, that's oh, a that's good a roll. Damage, oh, dude, geez. that's a dang good roll. Oh, boy. And IG has that guaranteed block there. But he must have used. I didn't get to see that. Maybe he. Now, used, what was uh, the combined range? Looks like. Oh, I'm surprised he rolled that. One, two, four, oh, five man. range. I think he was counting. Oh, you short range. Was. Yeah. Oh, he. Oh man, that would, he, that would have been a devastating oh, roll. Oh, he, hit, hit he, he literally Jeez. dodged a bullet there. Uh, <laughs> Steve, Steve got lucky there. He lodged a bullet because yeah. I would think with. I mean, how many? It was uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like seven. You're right. He seven was away. Too short there. And okay. having four dice and not being able to push for that seven accuracy is frustrating. He's probably oh, he's kicking himself because that would have been a lot of damage. It would have been a huge, made a huge difference, I think. Oh, now this is interesting. He's gonna create a crossfire, right? Yeah, and he's moving up. He's moving up Vinto, and yeah. Vinto is a very good five-point character because is he, he gets good close to, in. He, you kind of do somewhat because he gets to actually technically just, attack three times. Just that, we're ending the round now, and okay. uh, Natter controls one of the terminals. terminals? Yep. So uh, it doesn't look like security stations. Is he adjacent? He's adjacent. The, oh, he is. Yeah. He is. Yeah. So okay. that, he will score three perfect. points here, so he goes okay. up to six. Okay. okay. So end of round. Uh, looks like Natter controlled the top. Um, 
objective token. And so, so he's yeah. going to get so three. He's also going to be able to deal the damage. And he's going to deal damage to Vinto, it looks like, yeah. I think, right? And so he's dealing damage to Vinto of two points. So we are getting victory points from the, the security station for the, from the, uh, the mission. Yeah. Is there any other cards here on the table abilities that people have that are going to be extra points beyond just That's killing correct. figures? There, yeah, no, there actually are. There's a couple ways. Now, in this game, there's no Jabba. The Jabba, yeah, if he kills somebody, gets one. one. There's a few cards. There's one yeah. called Celebration. And that's an extra four victory points if you kill the named right. um, character. Uh, and but, but no one, no one here has like a, no. a, a figure or a character Not, in play that has a particular ability. No, okay. no, good question. And no, none of them have the ability to make any adjustments with uh, victory points with their characters. That's right. So it looks like he's going to use BT again. He's going to do the uh, he's ability. He's going to yeah. try it on Vinto this time. I really like that they're pulling in some of these characters from the comics. Yeah, it's great. Like BT1 that's the Vader, the Vader comic. Yeah, BT1 is from the Vader comics. Though. They're kind of the uh, evil analogs of R2 and 3PO. Oh, yeah, because he right. comes in a pack with uh, that evil C3PO. Yeah, story, and, right? and yeah. He's, he's called Triple Zero. And dude, yeah. it's, all he is is a jerk bot. Like, he's just a jerk. <laughs> all he does is do, go in and do nasty things. Like, yeah. Not just attacks. I mean, just he, stun, he can like stun you, he can weaken you. There's all kinds of weird things he can do. Oh, uh, this is a pretty decent roll. He's probably... Well, it definitely has a range there, I think. And he's got yeah. good, some good surges, so he, he attacked Vinto. Vinto blanked. So Vinto might even be potentially dead. Damage. He's got five damage, you said? Five damage dealt to Vinto. Okay, so he's got two left. Oh, no, he would be... Didn't he use the, he the terminal so on seven, so seven of eight now? Seven of eight, so he'd have one left. So he's probably disappointed he didn't have a good card there, like uh, positioning advantage or something like that. I'm going to see if he's got in his list here. We have the benefit of seeing their cards here, which is good. Uh, that was Nata, right? Uh, he doesn't have it, so he doesn't have a card that adds guaranteed damage. But that's still a great attack. You got to be happy with that because Vinto is annoying. Vinto could come in and attack three times essentially. Yeah, I think Vinto is going to want to activate to get yeah. him before he's dead. Absolutely, he can do, especially to stormtroopers lists. He can do a lot of a lot of heavy damage. It's interesting. I like what uh, Nader did, though, by putting the troopers right on the door. I think it's really cool because it's—they're not going to be easy to kill. So it means they're going to survive, and they're going to shoot. They're going to shoot. Uh, looks like he's playing devotion. I think there, which means he gets to go through his uh, command deck and choose a card with a name on it. In this case, he took. Uh, it's like an IG card. He there. took uh, yeah. a blaze of glory, which is IG's card, which is ridiculous. He basically gets to another activation. He takes three damage at the end of the round. So he's got that for future considerations. And that's scary now. I mean, if you're not, or you're thinking, oh boy, IG's gonna basically, in this round, he's gonna attack twice. So, and he, and when I say, sorry, he's gonna activate twice. He also could right. theoretically attack twice. So yeah, this could get pretty nasty. This is a really interesting start to this game. I'm, I'm really happy about that because I feel like this game is two dudes that are not posturing. They are literally going in and going, let's do this, man. Well, I would I would say there's a little bit of posturing. I mean, not not, not just though. trying to prevent a flank, I think, here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. His officer is vulnerable if uh, Steven's force busts through that door and, yeah. like, you know, creates a fire lane over on Nader's and side. And Vic, you were right. He looks like he's yeah. taking advantage of the of the corridor. Oh, you were right. Yeah. He's trying to come from the behind and just go down the corridor. You know, I've never seen anyone do this before. It's usually you go for that side and you flood it. So now you can reroll. Uh, one of those attack die if he wants, but he's yeah. got to reroll that blue one because he well, has he, a distance. Yeah, he only he has only range two right damage now. Here. Oh, that's correct. You're right. But he needs the range. It's what? One, yeah. two, three, four, five? Yeah, looks like. he only has two showing on the yeah. die right now, so he's going to have to reroll that blue die and then hope for if he can push for... Uh, oh, oh, he got it. He's nope. going to get it. Well, the, it's a three, but he's no. get, he gets an automatic two uh, yes. plus two accuracy, Right. so he's dead. So that's actually a big move. Nice. And he's playing... Looks like... Uh, a celebration? I can't see what card that is. Let me look at his deck here. Uh, but that does mean that Vinto dies before he activates his turn. That's correct. So I, I, I think I like what, what Nader's doing here. He's kind of forcing Steven to open that door, uh, do something, because as the board state is right now, uh, Nader can just jump out, take a shot, jump back behind cover. Well, and there's really, set up. Yeah, there's really nothing Steven yeah. can do until... Unless he presses the advantage. I don't want to yeah. talk too loud. I want to make sure yeah. that the, the players can't hear us. But yeah, yeah at, at this point, it's really on to Steven to either, you know, send some guys down to this terminal, start getting some points. Yeah. Of course, he's not going to be able to farm any damage, or 
you know, I, I don't know how difficult it would be to push through those two heavy stormtroopers, but he has to do something, otherwise he's just going to get picked apart. So it was celebration. Oh, so he gets an extra four points. Vic, you're right. Like, at this point, you're down 15 nothing. you've lost two, two characters, you've done no damage to anyone else. Uh, he's going to have to make a move soon here. And, I mean... Granted, here's he's another got firepower. Yeah. But like here's another snipe shot. And yeah. He's just that storm or that trip is just gonna duck back behind cover after yeah. he takes the And shot. he's focused, so he's gonna get the extra green die. Yeah. These are longer range, so yeah. can be he gets an extra plus two range. Yeah. And so that's gonna help him. But he's still gonna need another at seven. I think we counted seven last time, right? Yeah. So he's gonna need five on the dice at least. And then you'll get the two added that are guaranteed that are um, included. So let's see what he gets here. Oh, he's got it. Uh, no, he's, got he's six. one short. Six. Well, oh, he, he gets the plus two, two and that's right. a lot of damage. Nice. Oh, man. He just did seven. Okay, no, he's got a minus one, so six damage, I believe. Yeah, I believe he just did six damage, which is pretty good. I don't see if Steven hasn't responded with any other cards. But he had, a, he had a decent role, and you know he's not dead. All that matters is IG doesn't die. Yeah, IG has starts out with a lot of health. Well, he's your tank basically. Exactly, right? yeah. and so as long as he's not dead, in some ways you almost don't want to shoot at him. So it's seven on the dice, though. That should only be five. Seven on the dice and one block. And that's on right. Roll it should only be five damage to IG, right? Because um, IG has the built-in. He has the built-in as well. Yeah, and he, you're right. And actually, the other thing too is he took advantage of having C3PO. Um, being next to him, so he gets an extra dodge as well. Nice. Yeah. But, but I mean, as I was mentioning before, at the if everything remained in stasis the way it is right now, uh, Nader just is going to eventually win by taking pot shots. I think you're right. Uh, with no sort of retaliation. Oh, interesting move here. Did you see what just happened? What happened was, Steven engaged Chopper to use his ability, which yep. would do two damage and a surge. Uh, sorry, a, um, a strain. To the officer. Right, and Nader decided to just take the strain, meaning that's a damage, and the officer's dead. That's what it looked like to me, what he just did. He did, did he didn't move it back to... The... Oh, did he move? No, that's the second officer. Oh, I see. I thought I just saw him take it off the board, unless I just missed that. But that's what it looked like. He just took it off the board. Oh, looks like we're getting a nice photo off here from the beautiful characters. Yeah, it's one thing I do like about Acryl Salt. Like, I'm not going to lie. When I first got into this, I was like, painting? Hell no. <laughs> and then uh, our good friend Carlo got yep. me into the painting. He gave me a bunch of free stuff to paint with. And I and ever since then, so I got the, you know, if my girlfriend ever gets bad, we have to go after Carlo for that one. He got me hooked into the game and the painting. And so now when we come to events, I love looking at the paint jobs. Oh, doors open. Here we go. So here's going to be a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of attack here with his um, heavy stormtroopers. One of them is focused, so he's going to throw that extra green die in there. Uh, looks, I'm assuming he's attacking IG. Yeah, so IG he added the damage and the dodge, uh, the the surge cancel from 3PO. So that's what he did with the white die. Yeah, I realize yeah. that. So he just now he's got three blocks. That's a good defense roll, really, for having six damage on it. He's re-rolling the red to try and get three. No, same thing. So he's going to only take three damage. So IG is still alive, but. Uh, Nader still has another uh, heavy stormtrooper to attack. And Nader will attack with the other heavy stormtrooper, but I believe, let's see, IG looks like he's still got quite a bit left on him there. Five, right? six, seven, eight damage on IG, okay. looks like. Oh boy. Uh, oh, triple block. Oh, wow. wow. Nice. That's a beautiful roll. Absorbed all that damage there. So I think it's nothing's going to happen. He's going to run away. And now IG's going to do some uh, revenge here. I mean, I see what you were saying earlier, Vic. It, it almost looks like right now, uh, Nader's got a great, huge lead, right? And, and you know, Steve's going to have to be savvy here. And to, yeah, so he moved up his IG as free two points. Right. He gets to move two for free. That was the thing I forgot to tell you. He gets to move two for free up at the beginning of activation. He chose a red die as his extra... Uh, sorry, he, um, he used two, die, two red dice to attack with the focus. So that's six against, so that'll be five damage. It's not enough to kill the trooper unless he plays a card. I'm um, gonna see if he's got anything. Oh, he does have potential to play <coughs> assassinate. I don't think he did though, right? No, No. Uh, it doesn't look like he played any card. Now, okay. I do like uh, Nader's uh, retreat here, covering the rear side of the jet trooper formation. And now, if, if Steven does bust through, Mm -hmm. uh, what Nader can do is loop around the top and maybe come back down yeah. and trap him in. For sure. So, so I really like how Nader's covering his retreat this way. Yeah, you're absolutely right. He's he's bunched in the back there. I mean, you're going to want to go in that? It's like going into a hive of uh, bees. Um, so 
I'm just wondering what is Steven trying to do next here? Is he deciding whether to play a card? Or attack again? Okay, so... Okay, he lost the he lost the heavy trooper there, but I'm trying to think how because I didn't think he had enough hits to kill the heavy trooper. But I might have just missed something. Unless was there a card? card. He's maybe well, he's I about wonder to play if he a card did. There. Oh, there it is. So that, okay. Okay. Is that assassinate? Uh, I think that's not. I think that's um, he gets an extra. Is that an assassinate? Yeah, it is. You're right. Yeah. So he kill. He decided to kill. I think that's a good good call yes. here. It's a good move. You need to get a. You need to get something at this point. So he's killed the heavy. Well, once the heavies go down, would you say that the um, the jet troopers are fairly squishy? Not really. To be honest with you, I have a lot of trouble with them, man. They're so annoying to kill because they're seven, right? And I find five, six is your kind of you could probably one shot guys that are five. Right. You you could probably one shot with a help with a little bit of card help with a six, um, or some really good rolling. But I find that seven is just so annoying. Plus, he's got Zillow technique. So what he can do with Zillow having that card. He can either blow a card, like throw away one of his cards for a block, uh, or he can um, he can exhaust the card to block a pierce value. So that doesn't always come into play, but the but the saving that card, like saving that one damage by throwing away a card that you may not even use, yep. is so annoying. It's because it just keeps him alive. So it looks like Steven decided to play it safe with IG, which is a smart move to keep around the corner by not doing a second attack and just sort of running away. And so Nader's coming in trying to use the Jet Trooper ability here. He's gonna roll that extra, he's gonna roll that extra blue die. And I love what Steven did here setting, oh wow, another beautiful roll. Wow. Oh, dude, I think he just- Blocked everything. One damage, I think. Jeez. It's only one damage. That's a great roll by Steven. Steven's doing some, uh, he's, you know, I love what he did here, because what he did, he added, He's got Siege Refield beside him, mm -hmm. and he's got Hera Sindulla beside him. So with Hera, if she's you're within three of Hera, you can um, either add a damage, add a surge, or plus two accuracy, I believe, but I can't remember that, the, the extra part right. for Hera. But it doesn't matter. She's a great support character, and if you need her to attack, she's also good. So here's another attack. Looks like he almost dodged most of this too. Yeah, it looks like another one damage roll there. One damage. So, man, it's a great setup by Steven here to keep his beast alive. And so you're saying IG looks like he's got five, five no, 11 no. damage, maybe? Five, six, eight. Yeah, 11 yeah. damage. And he'll take, he's allowed. How much damage to the heavy trooper? The heavy trooper is usually six. Yeah. And the points wise, though, I think it's, I think it's three. Is it three per trooper? I think it's three. Well, that's slipping my mind. Uh, let's see here. Heavy, I lost the screen. Yeah. Yeah, because it uh, looks like it's six per trooper, and then, uh, sorry, per the, for the card, so three per trooper. So has he killed two heavies here, or just the one, right? No, just the one. Oh, okay. the one oh right, and the officer. Yeah. yeah, and the officer. So he's counting up his damage on IG right now. No, oh, he's he's making a go of it here. I like that. Uh, let me just check. Uh, let's get my time call here. Still, uh, Stevens uh, decided not to press for those. That's VJ just give, just announcing the time remaining for the rest of the tournament players. But it, uh, I'm surprised Steven hasn't been pressing for those two security terminals at the back. Yeah. Is it just to keep that weight of firepower? Yeah, no, I think you're right. Uh, Nutter tries to push back into that corridor. Yeah, good uh, good observation, yeah. Nick. I think you're right. I think he's thinking, well, man, if I go and go f if I go for those terminals, then I have no firepower. He's going to come in and just do tons of damage. So he's sending in uh, another jet trooper here. So maybe he thinks he can finish off IG here. Oh, oh boy, looks like he did. Oh boy. Was that a move and automatic hit there? Uh, yeah, he probably, I think what he did was he played, yes, he played overrun. And what overrun is, is if you have a, um, a vehicle, uh, which technically the jet troopers are considered vehicles, you can walk through characters and give them two damage. Wow. So IG must have had two left, and he just walked through IG and killed him. So it's a really, oh, it's annoying, and it's per character. So you, what you could do is you could basically walk up, so the card's called overrun, and it's a it's a command card that he played, and what it does is it each character he walks through takes two damage. So he can come in. He's got four movement points. Let's say he goes, I'm gonna go through this guy and this guy, two people, and they both get two damage. And that was before he got to take his second activation from 
I forget the IG. From the IG, you're right. So the, he didn't get to use Blaze of Glory either. So it's uh, it's looking pretty good for Natter on this one. It was a, uh, but you know, 27.5 is not insurmountable. But considering what Vic was saying earlier about Natter just staying back yeah, and his patience is big off. Yeah, I think you're right, and that's why I think with a list like this, uh, especially with heavy stormtroopers, you have to be patient. Yeah, you got to be patient because you know I'm not, it's, you're not going to get a lot of stuff happening fast. And you know that you need these guys to be able to shoot. Because if you think about it, those heavy stormtroopers did a lot of damage on AG. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. What is he thinking here? He's probably, uh, at this point, try to kill stuff as fast as he can. <laughs> so he shot with the weak queen. See what he did? He added the, um, the yellow surge because that's with his hidden feature. So right now he's probably, I guess he adds two damage for that. He only rolled one defense, and I believe Natter's going to... Oh, and he's playing Assassinate here. Another okay, assassin. so he killed a Jet Trooper. That's a four point for him there. So he must not have used Assassinate earlier. He must have used um, this... Let me look at his man deck here. Uh, 32. 32. Are we going to have a break after this too? You want it? You guys want it? Maybe like 5'10. Uh, yeah. So we're just going to take a look at uh, Steve's list here. I think he used Opportunistic the last round. This right. round was when he used uh, Assassinate. So, I mean, okay, good kill there. It's a good, and that weak way, is, I don't believe, is damage. So he still has, like I was saying earlier, weak way is the good thing about him is they still do take, they do pack a wall up and they do take some damage. They, you, have to, you have to really hurt them. Um, Natter does have those two, uh, you see there, the black base heavy stormtroopers at the top. So right. those are still going to be trying to come in and take some long range shots. ET1 is going to be able to do some damage next round. So right now he's got some damage on another jet though, on jet number one. See how he's got the piled up there. So I'm sure they're going to want to, uh, Steven's going to want to take that out. Also, the officer oh. moves up. So and giving some movement points maybe to the... It looks like he's going to attack. You don't wow. see very often an officer attack and he attacked with an officer. So it looks like it's just a surge for him. Um, what he decides to do with the surge? He focused himself. Right. So that's actually not a bad move because now this guy's got a really good offense. But if I'm if I'm Steven, I'm going in there and killing that guy. But maybe he's doing that on purpose to keep his guys alive, right? Well, you're also baiting them into the corridor there yeah. where your troopers are. Yeah. So maybe ignore him for now then. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Sort of maybe force uh, smart move a by not on this say yeah. like this is really well, I'm learning all sorts of things <laughs> yeah well you're, <laughs> you're yeah no and you're you're keeping up really well you <laughs> you and Travis are really understand it's great and I guess I'm saying to Travis earlier I'm like I wish I played more Armada or understood more about the Armada game but just it was too many games to so, balance end of the round okay he did control the one security terminal did have line of sight and puts two damage on um, okay nice. Okay. Yeah, I think I think Nodder at this point, if all he has to do really is just, you know, uh, keep those heavy troopers uh, right next to that security terminal. Yeah, it doesn't look like Stephen wants to move anywhere. Yeah, uh, I think even if Stephen moves into those uh, two security terminals at the bottom and starts getting points from them, I think Nodder just scores out before. I agree with you. Before uh, if if the board state stayed the way it is, so I do really like how Nodder is. Um, kind of like forcing Steven to press the issue here, creating yeah. it. Oh, creating I agree with it. you. I think it puts him, it, it makes a choice here as well. It makes Steven have to decide what is he going to do here. It, 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 is he going to try to go at the officer that's right around the corner? Oh, so he not just played reinforcements to bring back one of his, um, wow. his heavy troopers that died. Crazy. So, yeah, this is looking grim, but it depends, I guess it depends on how well he can, how fast he can kill someone here. Uh, let's play it there. Second year. Let play change of plans there. Is that change of plans? I'm trying to think what that is there. Might be that one. Nope. Three words. It's a card that gives vehicle speed and something. Oh, is that hit and run? No. Uh, looks like a zero damage roll there. 
Oh, fuel, fuel upgrade. upgrade. Thank you. Ah, yeah, fuel upgrade. Okay. Thank you, Ken. It's kind of hard to see the the cards when they're played at the, the top yeah. of the screen there. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, it's beautiful. Otherwise, you everything else. The pictures. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's great. I have to thank VTTV for doing the streaming for us today. It's like really top quality boys. This is like professional work here. It's awesome. Even having like that, I love having the dice uh, picture. Like you don't see that a lot and that's really cool. Like, of course you see it in like X-Wing and I'm assuming you guys do it in Armada, the same box, right? Yes. Yeah. That's really cool. And like in this, I, I love it. You can see the tightness, like the paint jobs look really nice. It's really cool. The Stormtroopers are freaking bright, but man, this is what they're supposed to be. Nice and clean looking. Uh, okay, so it looks like he attacked with a weak way. And... Was he shooting at the officer there? I think he's shooting at the, at the jet the, trooper. Yeah, no. he shoot the jet, but he's not dead. It looks like he's still at about five damage. Right. And then he's going to run for that terminal, like you had suggested he might try. Okay, and then there's another weak wave shot, and that's going to be dead, I think. Nice. Um, now he could. I don't know if he has ability to Zillow. I didn't know what he had used. Is that only four there? Oh, maybe he only has four. I thought he had five, but maybe it's only four. It looks like only four damage still yeah. there. He gets the automatic dodge. Oh, no, he's he done. Did he die? Oh, no, there, there is five. Oh, two more would be... Yeah, I think that's actually supposed to be seven. Unless he could blow a card and save one with Zillow. Uh, so we'll see. I mean, if I were him, I would probably do that. Just keep your guy alive. You might as well. And it looks like he blew a card. Strength in numbers. So Zillow keeps him alive again. Nice. Or did he... Nope, yeah, so Zillow kept him alive. Oh, that card. So annoying. <laughs> so annoying. It's honestly, it's an auto include in when you're playing Imperial Salt. If you're Imperials, right. you use Zillow technique. You obviously put that in. You make all your lists around that, or include that in all your lists. It's kind of like, in my opinion, for Scum, the auto include right now is probably a Vinto, potentially even a Weakway Pirate. But at the very least, you want those guys that are Hunter Smugglers because their cards are awesome in this game. And for Rebels, I would feel like right now, a really good auto include is Luke because he's just so deadly. Oh, it's pretty annoying, actually. So, let's see here. It looks like Nodder's gonna make use of his his heavy stormtrooper came back to life, and it looks like he's shooting at 3PO? Uh, it looks like Hera, uh, though. John what? John C? Okay. Looks like Hera, I think, he's shooting at. Yeah, I think you're right. So, let me just get the explore here a bit. Okay, so it looks like uh, he's got so, the range, I think. Yeah, and but, he gets uh, that, the white guy there, that, yeah, that <laughs> That extra block is from 3PO, or the extra um, surge cancels from 3PO, which is really cool. Oh, we're well trying to get some more damage. Okay, uh, so it looks like he can get two damage on there, really. No, I think he. Oh, yep, got got. Looks like uh, one damage there on Hera. Okay, here's another attack. Yeah, this is his other stormtrooper. His heavy, heavy stormtrooper. Way too balls like to But most people I have, most in. people are. Sorry? Most yeah. people run them right in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I ran them in first round and Skywalker. <laughs> first round of the game. 12 points, yeah. That's like he is robot loot, so. Yeah. So, um,. I don't think he did. He did maybe one more damage with Hera there? Yeah. Yeah, with that second one. I mean, defenses. That'll do it to you. Yeah, Hera's a really good four points. So I was thinking when I was talking about Rebel, it auto includes on. Hera was one on my mind because I just started using her. Right. And for four points, her ability is really cool, dude, because you, within three, you're basically enhancing your team members. Yeah. And the other thing, too, is. She throws three dice. I mean, it's any character that's four points that throws three dice is like attack dice is amazing. So looks like a focused shot here, I think. Um, from the officer? I think it's from Hera. I think Hera yeah. shot. Focus oh, yeah. shot onto yeah. the Hera jet, I believe. Yes. Yeah, so she shot a focus shot because she throws a blue, red, uh, blue, yellow, and a green. That looks like a lot of damage. And he's zillowing, he's zillowing to block Pierce. So that takes away the pierce, but I don't want to see how many more damage he has. Three, four, so it's three damage I see so far. And let's see these. Okay, and then 
he's moving here back a bit after that attack. So it must be someone out of the screen. It must be one of his heavies. I think it's his heavy he shot at. Because I don't see him. Oh, I see, okay, he's applying the damage now. Yeah, it's one of his heavy stormtroopers that took that damage. But unfortunately, it wasn't enough to kill the trooper. Right. Okay. Is this a jet trooper attacking I the chopper now? I think you're right. It looks like a jet's going to start trying to do some action here. Kenny, you need a fuel upgrade to get your car here from uh, Winnipeg, buddy. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll send you a fuel upgrade in the mail. How, how, how long of a drive is it from Winnipeg? It's like 15 hours or something. Kenny, like how that. long does it take yes. you to, to drive from Winnipeg? If you put that on stream for us. I'm going to guess, because Sault Ste. Marie is where I'm from, and that takes about nine hours, and then I know the border is at least another, probably nine, nine more hours. I don't know. Kenny, Kenny drives a really fast car. Is 24 real? hours. 24 Jeez. hours. Can't you drive to Florida from Toronto in wow. 24 hours? Wow. Dude, is that even in your Honda? That pimped out ride that I saw at Worlds? <laughs> So, the idea what's going on looks like there was another card played by Nodder. Oh, oh, that's planning. So that's planning. So what he gets to do, he gets to draw two cards. If he's a leader, he can keep both cards. If he's not a leader, he's got to throw one back. So I believe that was with his officer, right? So now he can keep those two command cards, which is great for him with Zillow. He can either use them to toss them out, or he might get a really good card to use. So... That's, uh, when you get that card, it's another one you kind of go, yes. Oh, I see Matt. Maddie's on here, too. Six hours. <laughs> You're right, dude. That ride's really pimping. <laughs> so let's see what else is going on here. So it looks like he's going to move up the, the other um, heavy stormtrooper to take a shot at what I'm guessing is going to be cho Chopper. Yeah, he's trying to get at Chopper. Yeah, well, now now that there aren't as many uh, of Stevens' forces in that main corridor, I think he's safe to this is awesome. maybe challenge isolate, anymore. yeah, isolate yeah. and eliminate. You were right from the beginning, though, and I actually I love the strategy that Nader used here, which was to come from the sort of the back and then use that lane. I will tell you, he's done that not in this map, but in a right. similar map, he's done that against me. That you came down a lane nobody usually comes down, and man, it's awesome. He's got well, a really with the mobility strategy. jet troopers, I feel like. I feel like this is the kind of list where, um, you know, this, like, I'm, I'm watching this list for the first time, and I yeah. think it's brilliant. It's beautiful. Uh, how you have some, some anchor characters, yeah. right? Just, they're there to maybe create a, a no-fly zone, yeah. right? And then you just control the rest of the map with... Yeah. Uh, and you come in, you snipe, do some sniping. Yeah. Well, that's a really decent role here. So what he did, he had, he had BT-1 who can focus. And he took out Chopper with one shot, even though Chopper had a nice roll, three blocks. It wasn't enough, so Chopper is now dead. A little droid on droid action? Yeah, I think you're right. A little droid on droid. Actually, new droid on new droid, too. So Nader's now up to 33 with 20 minutes to go. 20 minutes in the round, the girl saw. Oh, Matt, you're so nice. <laughs> oh, you were talking to Vic, right? <laughs> I have a script that VJ gave me. That's, <laughs> Actually, that's dude, how you're I doing know great, I'm doing. man. This is awesome. This is fun so far. Like I said, I'm like I keep saying it, and I'm going to sound annoying soon, but I'm just blown away by like the, how much detail we can get out of this. Like, I can see pretty much everything. It's awesome. So it looks like Steven has only one activation left on his team. I think. It's, yeah. Uh, uh, it's just, here. just Gideon. He just got Gideon. Gideon. Yeah. yeah. And then I, I mean, think it, it's always one. tough. I find when it's end end of game, right? And you have Gideon left, you're kind of like, oh. Do I? He doesn't use have them? a lot of offensive power. Yeah, I'm that's right. Like yeah. you can try to attack with him, but it's kind of like ah, uh, because usually you're you're used to using him as a support character, focusing, right? So it looks like uh, now Nodder's got control of almost the entire map. And <laughs> King Chimp, you're in England. <laughs> King Chimp just said he's in England. If he drove, he would drown. I don't know, man. The oh, well, I mean, uh, the based colony. on the weather we've had here the yeah. last couple of days, the I, weather I don't know if it would matter if you were, <laughs> yeah. if you took a boat. I don't know if you've here. heard in England, but basically Toronto's flooding. So, yes. <laughs> but don't worry, we would have sent uh, we would have sent a royal yacht for you. Yeah. So I mean, at this point, you it's it's funny. You're right again, by the way, Vic. It looks like Stephen has decided to just pull everyone into the corridor and try to hope for the points. And maybe, maybe shield some of his uh, figures at this point. 
Para right in the front who only has, well, she's got actually looks like six damage, so she's only got one left, I think. Oh, Is no, it? that's three damage. Three damage, yeah. yeah. So it looks like he's going to try, and Nader's going to try and force this game yeah. a little more. And yeah, I mean, Nader can just do the same and retreat to the other, tr yeah. other absolutely right. station. You're absolutely right. And just and wait a couple rounds. And yeah. Okay, so Nader's bringing in the, the jet. It's three, three away, so he's not going to get the extra attack die. So who would you say has the range advantage uh, between these two lists right now? Range advantage is probably surprising. It's it's difficult to say because I would say Steven has the weak ways, or had right. the weak ways, or has the weak ways, which are great range guys. But these jet troopers, man, they, they come in fast. And they so it's almost like they can stay back, right. come in, do some damage, and be able to run away so you can't even hit them back. Uh, but for range for longer shots, I find it's the weak ways. Now, Natter also does have the heavy stormtroopers right. who have decent range as well. And because he has the target computer, he can reroll that blue die and get that range if he needs it. Mm -hmm. Or if he's close enough but doesn't have a good red die roll, he can reroll the red die. So I'm kind of just rambling on to your question. But <laughs> literally, my favorites would be the weak ways. They have a built in plus two. They can hide previously if you want. If you can get Prowl, they can use that to add more accuracy. I think it's plus three, uh, or they can add two damage depending on what you're trying to do. So my favorites would probably be the E weak ways. Now, in saying that, I've been thumped by a lot of jet troopers before. So was that the end of the round just there? I think. I think it looks like it was the end yeah, of the round, but but Nader didn't. Oh. Well, not to control that. That's yeah, no. He gave it up. He's okay. figured he's just gonna kill him. Yeah. Yeah. And it looks like Steven used uh, take initiative. Uh, so he took take initiative so he can get to start the round, but that right. means he has to use up a character. So I think he's going to use 3PO, but I don't see... I think it looked like he used up 3PO. So in order to take initiative, got to use a character. And it's interesting how Nader is doing that swarm again, right? Like, he's just keeping uh -huh. everyone tight, tight together. And, if, man, if you had a list that had Blast in it, oh, man, it would be ugly right now. So Steven is going to activate Hera, I think, here. Yep. And Hera is kind of on her last leg, uh, and she is going to... This is actually a good move by Steven, because you can attack with Hera and then sort of hide and still use her as a support character. So he's going to roll with Hera here. Uh, looks like he's got a lot of distance. He's got seven showing, so that's good. And he's only got two blocks. Let's see, two, four, and a surge. That's two damage and a surge. He kills the Jet Trooper. Oh, so that's a nice... Uh, Nice for your morality there, your moral, sorry, there, to be able to kill something near the end of the game. But now he's only, what, 12 points away? Yeah. From tying it up? Uh, no, I... Do, 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 14? 14 points away. Yeah. 14 away. Yeah. Matt, uh, IG did play Blaze of Glory, but he didn't actually get to use the second activation before he died. Yeah, so he, he got it out of the deck, Matt. He used Devotion to get it out of the deck, but he didn't get to use Blaze of Glory before he died. That's correct. So that was... Travis and I were talking about, we're like, oh, that's disappointing, man, to see you, you actually got the card, but you didn't get to use it. It's half the battle is being able to get the card, right? 15 minutes. Okay, now it looks like Nader's going after the weak wave on the right side of the screen here. I think those are the two the last two big damage dealers on Steven's side. Um, rolls, gets a really good block though. And it looks like it's no damage here on that attack. Sorry, King, yeah, we may have missed that. I just saw that he got, I walked away from the, the camera for a second and saw that he had a second activation up, but you're saying that it was new orders instead of plays of blur. Okay, so after having uh, that Jet Troopers attack with on the weak way, I think he's just going to try to retreat, retreat back to the terminal, maybe? No, just get out of harm's way. Okay, so it looks like Jet's taking that terminal. And he's going to probably try and get in here, get a pot shot at that weak way and get in within two so he can get that extra die, I think. He's playing, he's playing very careful because he knows you never know. With these weak plays, like I was saying, they can put through a lot of damage. Especially if you got a Gideon to focus you up. So, okay, now he's within two. One, two. No, he's not. So, oh, it looks like he added the die, though. One, two. Oh, he can uh, go around the corner. Yeah, so he has two. So he gets an extra die. And so the weak way. See, the weak way only took one damage. Yeah. 
and that's that was, that pretty was good. The second attack there, the first one completely whiffed. Yeah, so I mean that's why I like them. I find that they're they're survivable, and they're also they're only four points as well. But man, it's it's comparable. The jet troopers are probably the best addition, other than maybe BT one right now that right. that the FFG's done in a while Super for agile. Imperials. Yeah, for Imperials, Imperials haven't got really a lot of love very recently, but with the new stuff that's coming, they'll get Vader back. I'm sure that the national they're, champion they're John Chan will be playing Vader. <laughs> We, I'm sure John Chan will be playing Vader. We guarantee that. I'll see that coming out. Also, his weak way to attack looks like he's going to take four damage here. Uh, he doesn't have the range. I don't. Oh, he does because he has a yeah, built-in plus two. Yeah. And he has a built-in plus two. So With that the targeting computer. Yeah. Um, no, for his built-in ability is uh, to have plus two accuracy. Like it's sort of added to his character. Now it looks like he's adding in the one block here. I would have to assume that's because he, he used Zillow, but I just don't see where he got that from there. Uh, he rolled the one dodge, uh, the one, sorry, surge cancel. Uh, oh, you're right, it's King Champ, you're right, New Orders is there. Oh, that's cool. That was a smart, that was a nifty move on Steve's part to pull out the yeah, New Orders. I think the block was from the heavy ability there, Matt, you're right. Okay, so we got some more damage going through here. Uh, just trying to mitigate here. So two two blocks. The weak way can push two. So that in theory would be five minus two would be three more. And he's playing reinforcements. It looks like is it in the round? That's what it looked like. Oh, he's blowing it for Zillow. Duh. Sorry, sorry, people at home. Yeah, he used Zillow there. Zillow, he threw away reinforcements to Zillow, one of the damage. Yeah, so John and I were just talking, saying reinforcements is sad they have to blow, blow reinforcements to for <laughs> Zillow, but if it keeps your it's, guy it's alive. It's interesting here. If like the Weequake do get to absorb this damage, uh, Matter might regret not just get earning out with that security station. Yeah, I thought taking, I thought taking a much right. safer win condition. You are right, it's a good point. <laughs> because I mean, he still has a he still has a numbers advantage, he could probably kill them. But you know, if <sighs> if the rolls go badly, then awesome. it's you, you had a kind of a guaranteed win that you're you're putting on the line to try to get a victory through kills. T Travis, you are bang on right now because he's going to get six points end of round. And like Steve will get six points end of round. Sure. And Natter so didn't get the three. If Natter, Natter's missing three, would have got another three at the end of this round. You're right. Basically, as long as he, nothing died on Natter's side, then he could have just waited out the win. Yep. This, is a, this could be... I mean, it is, it is a boring option, so I mean, it's <laughs> good that he wants to go out in a blaze of glory. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it, there's a chance it backfires. Uh, yeah, you can reinforce the heavies, Matt, because there are only three. Oh, sorry. They can hear us? Can you hear it? Oh, they can't hear us. Um, so reinforcements, you can hear the heavies. Are they no, no, he's covering your just, yeah, you're Oh, no, I'm just wondering we had a question about that. Yeah, because uh, right yeah, yeah, it's, three, it's three points. Oh, yeah, they're just regular heavy. Yeah, that's right, they're not... They're not elite. Um, and you can't reinforce the heavy or elite jets. Right. Yeah, elite jets, you're right. You wouldn't be able to do because they're four points. So he looks like he focused up the weak way. Uh, I don't think they're elite, Matt. They're uh, regular. Oh, that's right. I didn't realize you didn't have damage to kill the I think they're just regular uh, heavies there. Yeah, weak way said. Uh, so Weakway died, yeah. Okay, so he's up to 37 now. It's still tight, and you know he still does have the advantage of if it gets to the end of the round and Gideon's not dead, he's going to get an extra six points for the terminal. So no, he, just, he can just run over and get the claim to the terminal. Yeah, and I think you're right. I think he's going to do that with the heavy stormtrooper, I would assume, because that guy's way out of the action anyways. Oh, oh he's bringing in the officer again. This officer's been on the going, offense. Going all in. Oh, and he got. Oh, and he blocks the surge. So he takes the three damage, but he doesn't get his focus that he wanted. Bye, three PO. Wow. So three PO's dead. 
That's another two. That brings him down up to 39. <laughs> so he just sees the terminal. It's over. Yeah. Yeah, and he's got it. He knows it. Yeah. So that's going to be a good game. Wow. That was a good... Well, you know what? I thought there was a chance for Steven to come back there. <laughs> didn't need the... Uh, no. I thought yeah. for sure. I, I thought he was going to come back. Of, like maybe not are pressing his advantage too much yeah. worked out for him in the end yeah it ended up working out yeah. and he still has lots of firepower I, left I, I will say though that was just an excellent positioning at the beginning of the game by Nutter yeah um, yeah setting up that no-go zone you know just blocking off that flanking yeah uh, flanking routes and I'll and I'll give Steven some credit um, that Steven basically made a great go of it after by making his position that like strong position where he can get some uh, Get some cover, but also maybe take some.